What's going on, Jerome's? K.J. Osborne has a massive opportunity this season to step into the Vikings wide receiver two role, and he spoke with the local media jackals on Monday, the start of vo voluntary voluntary uh, team offseason workout program, uh, and he had some very interesting things to say about his potential role and opportunity, as well as uh, what, what is going on behind the scenes with Dalvin Cook. Uh, so this is uh, what he said. Kevin Seifert, ESPN, who's not Carl Gerbschmidt. Uh, Vikings wide receiver K. Jasborn said today that running back Dalvin Cook isn't in the building today for the first day of the offseason program. Cook was in Florida this weekend as part of a fishing competition. Yeah, he won. Him and Matt Judon won the catch. That's right. Um, Minnesota won catch championship. Wisconsin, zero. Goose egg. D'Angelo Russell. Uh, Cook was blah, blah, blah. Uh, but he also has been subject to plenty of discussion about his future with the team. Osborne on Cook. Quote, that's the NFL. He's going through whatever his situation is. He's handling it the best that he can. I just leave that stuff for the people upstairs, and I'm sure it will work out. End quote. Now, the, the media did sort of lead him into revealing that Dalvin wasn't there, uh, where he was talking about how guys like Kendricks, well, you know, guys like Thielen aren't there, but uh, they led into Dalvin. But, uh, yeah, basically, uh, KJ, there's an unwritten rule where you don't talk about another player's money. And that's exactly what's happening here. What whether you know Dalvin is back at 10.4 million, or if he's cut, or if he's traded, or if he's or if he's back, who knows? Like, there's a lot of options on the table for Dalvin, and you know it's not the player's place to speculate, at least in public. And you know, K KJ was smart here. He deferred to the people upstairs and all that stuff, and you know, still gave Dalvin the respect and all, all that. Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, again, the offseason program is completely voluntary. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes players aren't there for logistical reasons. Sometimes the reasons are contract based, and most of the time they're contract based because most of these veterans do have workout bonuses in their contracts. So you know, passing up on 50k or 100k uh, just to make a statement, usually you're not going to do that just because you want to take the kids to Disneyland. Disneyland is open every single day of the year, man. So, uh, but yeah, Del Delvin won the fishing competition, which is very exciting. I mean, Delvin's a very avid fisherman, and you know, m maybe with that surgically reconstructed so shoulder, he was able to reel better. Like maybe he entered this competition before, but couldn't get it done with the shoulder. I don't know, man. Uh, but yeah, the the whole Dalvin situation is certainly floating up in the air, and. Yeah, I think it was a given that he wasn't going to be there for voluntary uh, workouts, even though he has been up in the Twin Cities getting a shoulder checked uh, post-surgery. So we'll see what happens there. And then KJ on the wide receiver two opportunity. Andrew Kramer, Strib. KJ Osborne on no Adam Thielen around as Vikings report for voluntary uh, work today. Uh, oh, this is how they goaded him. Uh, a little different. Not only uh, not only Adam, E.K., Patrick Peterson last year, it was A.B., uh, Dalvin Cook as in the building right now. No Cook. Uh, what I learned, that's the NFL, blah, da, 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 da. Well, maybe he volunteered it. I don't know. Maybe I read it wrong initially. Whatever. Uh, Osborne on Thielen. I just talked to him on FaceTime, so he's our guy. That's my brother. I still talk to him. Uh, I talk to him a lot still uh, on seeing his opportunity. I do see this opportunity. Uh, we can still add wide receivers, but at least I can say I'm excited about the opportunity. Adam Thielen was an excellent uh, example for me. And, uh, you know, KJ, I mean, KJ's had an interesting road where he came in as a fifth round pick in 2020, and he was benched thrice as a return specialist, played zero uh, offensive snaps as a rookie uh, year two really stepped up and a lot of fans are ready to cut bait a after one season uh, but has put up back-to-back -back 600 plus yard seasons has 12 total touchdowns over the last two years 110 catches uh, over the last two seasons and now you know with Adam Thielen gone there's going to be a lot of uh, prime targets up in the air and yeah I mean JJ is going to get his TJ is going to get his KJ has a chance to be that uh, that wide receiver two that third passing option and you know looking at the receiver room right now i mean who who are you really pumped about i mean jalen naylor i like uh brandon powell i think could be underutilized sure and as kj said they could certainly still add receivers and i think they should uh at some point during this draft because it is a fantastic wide receiver class 
specifically for what the Vikings need and, and a wide receiver two, wide receiver three. So uh, I, I like that KJ does have a level head about the situation where he knows he has a huge opportunity, especially in a contract year. He has a chance to hit free agency and get paid if he has a big-time season. And he's probably going to have you know 100-plus targets. And he's probably going to have uh, an opportunity, even if the Vikings do add a rookie wide receiver to establish that he is that guy opposite of Justin Jefferson. So uh, I'm pretty fired up for KJ. And uh, we'll see what 17 can do this year. But your thoughts are thoughts. KJ Osborne press conference. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts and his thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.